Hi, my name is James Cousins. I'm a choreographer and I studied at London Contemporary Dance School from 2007 to 2010. I wanted to study contemporary dance because of seeing Rombert dance when I was 15. Before that, I wanted to be in musical theatre. And then I saw Rombert perform a piece by Raphael Bonicella and I was so like spellbound by it. I didn't even applaud. I just sat there speechless and I was like, I want to do that. And so, yeah, from 15, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And yeah, auditioned when I was 18 and, and here we are. Upon graduating from LCDS, I joined Matthew Bourne's New Adventures for a tour of Swan Lake and then continued dancing in other dance companies, um, touring and creating new works. And one year after graduating, I won a choreographic award that Matthew Bourne created, which gave me a year's mentoring and my own show at Sadler's Wells. And after doing that, I realised actually choreography is what I wanted to do. I mean, I think I'd always known that, but I thought you had to dance for like 10 years and then you were allowed to become a choreographer. But having had that mentoring and that show, I felt I want to keep this going. And so I established my own company, which gave me the opportunity to create my own shows with the dancers I wanted, with the creatives I wanted. And that's been ongoing to this day. And we've done, I think, four or five UK tours, international tours as well created shows here and abroad. We're really fortunate to get support from British Council and so we did a lot of international touring with the company as well in 2014, 2015. And it's, it's incredible just to have like um, a pool of dancers to work with and bringing the people I want into the studio. And alongside that, I've also created a lot of work on other companies like Scottish Ballet and other ballet companies and dance companies. And then recently I've shifted also into working in theatre, so I've started movement directing for shows and creating choreography for theatre as well. In terms of things that I took from my training and I've carried with me into my professional career, I think one of them is the contact skills that I learned here at the place. I'd already done quite a lot of contact work before coming here and it was always a real interest of mine, something I loved doing. And the teachers here are incredible and gave me a really deep understanding of contact improvisation, which I use a lot in creation of my own work. And the other subject we had at LCDS is called choreology, which is the study of movement and how you sort of analyze it and understand it. And I use that a lot with my dancers. And it gives me the tools to be super specific about what I want and get out of them the movement qualities and the like, articulations and just creates a really rich vocabulary that we can work with so that has definitely been a huge huge benefit to me in my career. One of the challenges of being a dancer or a choreographer in this industry is that a lot of the work is freelance and so you sort of go through waves of, of working and uh, sometimes you're super lucky and your diary just like slots up and everything works out beautifully and other times you sort of have this amazing project and then you have this like drop and there's like <laughs> everyone disappears from you and you're like where is everyone I've been with and so I think that's always really hard and especially as a choreographer and running my own company as well you know you create a show you do a tour and then suddenly that's gone and you have this like empty space and so those moments I always find really hard and how to sort of stay motivated and start already thinking about the next show and building up again and I think the sort of the nature of being a freelance is, is difficult but you just have to be hungry to keep going and I think the more versatile you are as an artist the sort of more things you can have in many different pies allows you to just keep working all the time. My advice for anyone wanting to study at LCDS or, or dance in general would be take every opportunity that comes your way, do as many different styles, explore everything, just be hungry to, to learn and to experience new things. You know, contemporary dance is such a broad range of things, it's not just one thing, you know, there's so many things within that. And you know, as a choreographer, I like to draw in loads of different styles. Like I've used tap dance, I've used K-pop, I've used hip-hop, I've used, you know, loads of different things within it. And I, I look for dancers who have other styles that I can then draw on. That excites me and, and fusing different things together. And I know I'm not alone in doing that as a choreographer. And so, yeah, make yourself versatile. Be, 
be interested in different things. And you never know where work's going to come from. Like just doing a workshop, you know, a random flamenco workshop or whatever it might be that you think that's not really for me. You never know what it's going to lead to. You never know who you're going to meet there. And it can just open these new unexpected doors in your career, which can always be super exciting.